here again I have my LSM-303. Some people were wondering, uh, what happens if you put it next to something like a motor? Well, conveniently, uh, at my friend's house here, Adam, <laughs> he uh, has a printer bot set up and uh, we can go put it right next to this motor here and see what happens. First thing that we notice though is the fixed magnets in the motors overpower the, uh, the, the magnetometer and so it's reading negative 4096 which means it's just outside of the band in which it can read. So I'm going to have to move this, uh, this magnetometer away a little bit before it'll actually behave. So probably about another inch maybe away. And now the, the numbers are down in something reasonable. So they're not above, you know, beyond the, this thing's ability to measure magnetism. So I'm going to reset it here. And uh, Adam, if you don't, I guess if you want to calibrate it so you can just spin that in place. All right. Just like the video before, just kind of getting the, uh, the calibration data. I'll look at that wonderful spinny circle thing. Okay, and what we can do is we can tell the Z motor to start spinning and we'll see how it performs during that. Okay. Let me get it somewhere more interesting. There, and then run it again. It's not really changing very much. It's uh, being pretty stable on the, the orientation of the magnet. Let me get a little higher. And then you can kind of see it jitters. It is jittering a little bit, but it's still, if all you're trying to get is just a uh, general position, or general rotation, you're just fine. You're not going to get sub-degree accuracy with this one, but uh, it's still pretty good. Even while it's running. Yeah, while the motors are running, you're still able to tell what the orientation of the magnet is, despite the magnet being much, much farther away from the sensor than the motor. Right here, I have uh, the Z shaft for the uh, the printer bot, and say I wanted to find out where is it instead of using a limit switch to figure out the exact position. Let's try using this rotary encoder for it. <laughs> Instead of using this large magnet for it, I'm using a much smaller, actually, oriented magnet, and uh, the same sort of getup as we did before. So I'm going to reset the, the the screen here, and so now it's doing uh, whatever. It's going to take up the extremes and go for it. And Adam, if you want to turn on the Z drive, so now it's calibrating for the position, and like clockwork, look at that gorgeous time. You can see it spinning around. Slowly, slowly, slowly going down. I think this is a pretty neat way to be able to watch the, uh, <laughs> the rotational position of, of a shaft like this on a stepper motor. Okay, recal- Oh my gosh, look at that thing spinning!